Well, good evening, all you Trojan fans. We welcome you to tonight's ball game here at Upper Dolphin, where the Trojans will play host to those wild and tough Indians from Millersburg who come in here with a 1-3 and three record. The Trojans looking to get the biggest winning streak of the last two years together tonight as they'll go for victory number three in a row uh, over these uh, Millersburg Indians, hopefully, tonight. So uh, Trojans coming off two good football games, really terrific football games, one up at EJ two weeks ago, and then over there at uh, Halifax when they played, I thought, one of the best games I've seen the Trojan football team play in a couple years. I mean, it uh, had everything going for it. Good mix of... Uh, Aerial stuff along with a good running game. Uh, Dean Breyer, or Dean Breyer, I beg your pardon. <laughs> the other Lycans, boy, that's right. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, Shadle scoring three times last week against uh, those uh, Halifax Wildcats. So just doing a heck of a job for the Trojans and the uh, boys really playing some good football. So we hope tonight they can continue their winning ways as uh, we'll see uh, what happens here in just a moment. Millersburg Indians just getting ready to enter the ballpark over on uh, the far side of the field. The Indians are wound up for tonight's ball game. Of course, this is always a big one. Another one of these Valley rivalries that uh, seems to produce good football one way or the other. Last year, the Indians skunked the Trojans uh, pretty well, and uh, the Trojans would like nothing better than to redeem themselves this year, and they do have the ball club that can do that, so we're going to see what happens now as the uh, game unfolds here right before our very eyes. We'll have the toss of the coin after the meeting in the center of the field here. Coming up in just a moment. We'll be right back. Co-captains are meeting now at uh, the center of the field. Out there tonight for UD is uh, Mace number 56, Bingham at number 15, number 20 is Shadel, and number 12 is Jim Buffington. So they will be our co-captains for this uh, big ball game. As we'll get our started here in just a moment, they're checking over the coin. We'll have the toss. We had it. And let's see who won. UD has chosen a couple times to defer to the second half earlier in the going. Let's see. UD has won the toss, and they are going to defer tonight, too. So they will kick off, keeping that uh, defense pepped up out there and see if we can hold the Indians deep. And uh, we will do the kicking off to begin the first half of the football game. So uh, let's see what happens. The Trojans will defend the south goal here at uh, UDA. And we'll be set for Sulio's kickoff here in just a moment. All right. Boys look ready now. Look a heck of a lot more confident tonight and last week uh, than they did, of course, the first two couple of ball games when they were without uh, quarterback Jim Buffington. And so tonight, everybody, I think, is uh, healthy, ready to go, and... Uh, should have a good ball game. Sulio Zaharovic is going to kick off tonight. We'll call Sulio Sulio heads forth. But anyway, the young fella is ready to kick, and here comes that opening kick. It is nice. Going to be taken back here at the seven yard line, and they're going to pick it up to the 15, the 20, 25. Up the middle he goes with it, and still on his feet, breaks loose. Bauer has a shot at him, and he hits him out here at the 45 yard line. Bauer and uh, Sulio coming up with the stop, but uh, good run back that time by that young Millersburg Indian, bringing the ball all the way from the seven yard line out to the 46 yard line. Big run, Shell, Shell, Shell and Shavirovic, they said it was. I thought it was uh, Bauer in there, but anyway, could have been Dave. At any, at any case, the ball is laid at the 46 yard line of the Indians. Excellent field position for Millersburg to start off this ball game. They'll go to work there with Daly at the quarterback for the Indians. The back is a single set back. Two men split in the, let's see, the handoff is to that running back and he'll get a couple of yards to the 49 yard line. Gain of three on the play will be second down and seven and he is shaken up on that play. 35 got himself a bad wheel I think out here so we're going to have a official timeout for the injury and we'll be right back. Well Todd is going to be helped off the field and that's uh, unfortunate for the young fellow. We've only played 23 seconds into the ball game and uh, Ryland picks up an injury and it would look doubtful as to whether he's going to return tonight but uh, you never know but uh, we hope and wish the best for him that's for sure. 
He's going to be replaced in here. We'll find out who his replacement is here in just a moment. Number 26 for uh, Millersburg is in there as his replacement. Daly would like to pass. Fires one over the middle. It is complete. And look out. The man breaks loose from a tackle. A couple of guys might get him. The ball is fumbled into the end zone. Can the Trojans get it? No, it's recovered by Millersburg. And it'll probably be a touchdown. Millersburg has the football. And I believe, let's see, touchdown. Yeah. Good call, Millersburg, with the reception or the recovery, I should say, of the fumble. And 86, Seth Paul made a heck of a good uh, play out of that as he was uh, hit across the middle and carried it all the way down to about the seven where he uh, fumbled it into the end zone. The Trojans and a Millersburger with a shot at Millersburg guy definitely coming up with the football in the end zone. He just had to recover. He didn't have to keep it. And so Millersburg breaks out on top, 6 nothing. Surprising development here in the early going for sure. And the extra point try coming up. Good snap. Kick is up. Kick is good. So with just extra 55 seconds elapsed in the ball game, we've got a 7-0 Millersburg victory. Or Millersburg on top. Well, how do you like that? Let's see if the Trojans can come right back and get that one. Now, tough break for UD. But an excellent uh, series for Millersburg, to say the least, and we'll be right back. Bauer and Shadle back deep to receive the kick for UDA. Bauer will be the young fellow closest to us. And uh, Shadle on the far side of the field. So let's see now. This could be one of those kinds of ball games and uh, see if UD can overcome that. Now I'll get right back into it, giving up that quickie here. Here's the kick coming over here on Bauer's side, taken at the 10. Matthew at the 15, up to the 20, the 25. Matt streaks up the middle and is going to be tackled out here at about the 34-yard line where it'll be first and 10 for UDA. Nice run back by Matt. On the return for the Trojans, brought down by number 22, Justin Hirsch from Millersburg. First and 10, Trojans UDA. First and 10 from their 30. And from the 34. The Trojans will have in the backfield there is... Uh, Tony Motter along with uh, Shadle and hold everything. Shadle gets the handoff, but whistles are blown prior to the snap. So we have a dead ball penalty of some kind. And UD may have been offsides. We'll see. Offsides against Upper Dauphin. So the Trojans will begin with a first and 15. There is Eric Motter for the Trojans. The backs are split in the backfield this time. On a first and 15. Handoff over here for Shadle. Shadle will try the left side over here. And he's gotten some good yardage out to the 37-yard line. The ball carrier for the Trojans. Nice run that time by Broad Nathan. Mike Picks up Ellenberg. about nine on the and play. The It'll be second or maybe uh, seven on the play. We'll call it second down and three. Ball spotted at the 38-yard line of UDA. Flankers on the far side of the field are that... Uh, Wegner. Pass is out here for, well, was thrown over the head and out of the reach of uh, Bingaman. Kyle Kuhn shakes uh, that one down. It'll bring up a third and seven. Jim a little bit long on the arm that time. Kyle was out there and had a step or two on the defender, but the pass uh, overthrown by two or three yards, so I have to try that one again, though, because Kyle was, uh, he was open. Pass just eluding him a little bit. Wagner, the other flanker on the far side of the field. Bingaman will line up in the slot over there. Other backs are split. Tony the Tiger Motter, number 32, and this time it's going to be Shadle again. Shadle again over the left side over here. is bumped out of bounds at around the 41-yard line. It'll be short of the first down by about two or three. And bring up a fourth down and three. Then Trojans will be forced to punt now. <clears throat> Back to do the punting will be that uh, Huffman, Nick Huffman. See if Nick can get a good snap here. Good snap and the kick. Wow, just got it off, but he got it off okay. Here's the ball going to be allowed to roll dead down here inside the 20. So a nice punt by Nick Huffman. 
And it'll give Millersburg the ball first and 10 at the 19-yard line. Millersburg will take over first and Nose of the ball just about touches the 20-yard line now for Millersburg as they take over here on their first and 10. Daly, the QB, looking him over. He'll pitch this one out there to that 23. He's going to turn the left side over there and drags ahead for a couple of about five or six yards. Out over the 25, that's that Caleb Gordon. And Gordon, the nice uh, run. Julio finally stopping him out there. Picked up seven on the play, second and three. Well, let's see what we can do here on the defense. And we hold everything. We got a flag on the play. Someone is lined up off sides. And it would be Millersburg this time, I believe. Let's see. Yep. Millersburg in the neutral zone. It'll take the ball back five, back to the 23-yard line. And it will bring up a second down and eight. Second and eight. Two flankers out on the near side of the field this time. Millersburg will hand it off. Up the middle goes that uh, young fella again here. That's uh, set, er, Gordon, was it? 30, no, 33 this time. Gordon, the goal, it the is ball Gordon. For the Indians, brought down number he picked up about uh, seven. They'll bring up a third down and two. Picked up six. Make bring a third, third and two. two. <clears throat> ball now spotted out here at the 20, just about the 27 yard line almost. On a big third and two. UD needs to hold them here now. Second man through, and he's not going to get anywhere this time as he runs right into Eric Motter, among others out there. Eric had a good rap on him, and so did that DJ wrestler. Stopping him for a loss of maybe a yard Jordan or so, not too much. For the Indians. Put the ball and back at the 26-yard line and bring up a fourth and a very long Stop three or almost four. So UDA will get the ball back now three. as Millersburg will be forced to punt that ball out of there. So kind of a snap he gets. Good snap. Not too much of a rush at all. The ball's not too deep, and but boy, gets a good roll. Picked up over here by uh, Bauer. Bowers is down the right side over there, and Matthew's going to be tackled after return of about two or three yards. Matt just couldn't Matt get Bauer it going that time. The ball was kind of a line drive to type of kick, and it took that hop up to Bauer. And ten. Matthew was able to pick it up and gain a couple of yards back with it, but that was all. So UD now in good field position at the 43-yard line where they'll start this drive with 7.41 left here in the first quarter. UD trails 7-0. <clears throat> they'll go to the I formation in the backfield now for Upper Dauphin. Back to pass goes Buffington. Pops this one up in the air. Got a man out here. It's going to be Bingaman. Bingaman's got it. And Kyle is going to be tackled at the 15-yard line. As I think it might have been, 15, let's see, a Daly or somebody Inside picking him off. 20, nice pass from Buffington to Bingaman. Georgia. It will not be the last time you will hear that combination tonight, I'm sure. Nice pass, high arching pass that time by Jim Buffington. He led Kyle Bingaman, as you could see plainly, very well that time. Kyle, over the shoulder catch, took the ball down to the 15-yard line where it is first and 10. UDA on the Millersburg 15. Beautiful play. Handoff, Shadel. Shadel to the 10, Shadel to the 5, Shadel to the 3. Good run, Nathan Shadel, picking up about 12 on the play, or 13. Down to the 3-yard line. Nice run that time by that Nathan Shadel. Seth Paul saving the score for Millersburg. First and goal, UDA. Called by Millersburg. UD knocking on the door. 7.24 left here in the first. Here we go. First and goal from the three. See if we get some room out there by that Terry Gra Grafe and uh, Hunter is the center. Mace on the right guard spot. 
Let's see which really helps here. We're going to get a, about a yard and a half closer now as uh, 74 for Millersburg kind of jumped the gun that time. And that'll be offsides called against Millersburg. Put the ball at the one and a half yard line or at the one yard line make it. And uh, we should be able to get in from there and uh, see what happens here. Tight end for UD is that other Hunter. And George Hunter on one end and Drew Hunter on the other in the center. Here is Shadle for six. He's got it. Shadle standing up. In the end zone he goes Nathan for Shadle six. And Shadle makes it a seven-six ball touchdown. game. One of many tonight for Nathan. No. <laughs> anyway, that's number one, put it that way. Way to go, Nathan Shadle. Good job. Uh, nice series that time. Capped by the one-yard run by Nathan Shadle, but set up by that fine pass play from... Uh, Buffington to Bingaman. All right, here we go. Good blocking in there that way that time, fellas. Way to go. And we'll see if we can get that all-important extra point now. Sulio, who has been very successful this year, will attempt his first of the evening. Out of the hold of, of Bingaman. Kick is up. Kick is Good. Extra point Kicked it into the Sulio darkness here. Good. Way to go, Sulio Zaharovic. Way to go, Sulio. 7-7, 721 left here in the first quarter. And we'll be back with Sulio's second kick to the first half in just a moment. 721 remaining here in the first. 7 up. Sulio Zaharovic ready to give her a boot. And here's that kick. It's going to come down here and be taken at the 12, 15, 20, 25, and up to the 30-yard line. The ball, oh, I thought the ball was loose for a second there. I guess not. They'll spot it at the 29-yard line, give him forward progress to that spot. And that's where the Millersburg Indians will put it in play. First and 10 on their own 29. Forward on the return. Yep. Daly at quarterback for Millersburg now. And we'll see what he does in his first and 10. Up the middle with it. No, no way at all. As grabbing him immediately in there is that number 77 DJ wrestler. Big Dundee wrestler making a stop in there. Virtually no gain on the play. That was Etzweiler who took the punishment that time from second down. DJ. <laughs> at least second down and a very long nine. Ball right now at the 30-yard line. Uh, just one second, Ray. Okay, here we go. Receiver split out on the far side of the field. Here's a little screen pass. Chucked over that. Could be a lateral pass. And he's going to recover it at the 25-yard line. Looked like a lateral pass from here. Fortunately for the Indians, the receiver to be fell on it. Otherwise, UD might have picked that off. All right. Daily Third down. Lateral. And about five. Be down back at the 25. It was indeed a lateral pass. They ruled it that Daily way, and it sure was. Third down. Third down now and about uh, just about 15. Loss of about five on the play. This time, Daly will go to the shotgun formation on what would obviously be a passing situation. We'll see. Oops. Now we have motion of some kind somewhere, but what was that? Yeah, I thought the defense, yeah, it was on them. Somebody in the line of the Millersburg moved. Illegal procedure, the call. Penalty Takes them back ball. five more, and the ball will be Indians spotted back at the 20-yard line now. Procedure. So the Indians kind of moving in reverse here on this line. series. We'll look at a third down and 19. For Millersburg. Third and 19. Again, they go to the same formation now. With everybody split out, maybe we can stay back and see these guys and realize the focus isn't as good back here. But firing it down the middle. Man is out here. It is going to be just about picked off out there. Wow. It looked like uh, either uh, Bingaman or uh, oh, Tony Motter, they say, knocked it down. All right, so Millersburg will be punting the ball away again now. UD, good defense, really playing very well out there. Last couple of ball games. And so they'll get the ball back now. As the punter will be back at about his own seven-yard line to receive this snap. Good snap. 
Udeo playing for a run back. And the ball's going to go over there to Bauer on Bauer's side and go out of bounds. So there will be no run back on this one, but UD will get the ball in good field position once again as they'll put it in play at the 47-yard line, 48-yard line of UDA. So the Trojans barely over half a field to go to get six more. And right back. This time UD will flank the receivers out on this side of the field. That would be Wegner and uh, Bingaman. High in the backfield. Back goes the pass again. Goes Buffington over the middle. Incomplete. In and out of the hands of Ka of uh, pass and Wegner. Aaron, Wegner is Aaron just couldn't hang on to that. Uh, Jim 10. hit him right in the numbers away. Look from here, but uh, goes as an incompletion. We'll bring up a second and ten. That was a tough one. Aaron knows that he probably should have caught that one, but he'll get more opportunities, I'm sure. UD looks like they're going to try to pick apart that uh, secondary of Millersburg now as they can see they can throw that ball on them. Well, let's see what happens on this one. Pitch over here for Shadel. Shadel cuts it up the right side over there and is going to be dragged out of bounds at about the 50-yard line. Mason Shadel, the ball carrier for the church. Picking up about a couple yards on the play. For the Maybe two. Bringing up a third down and uh, third, down seven from third, the and, field. third and eight. Mr. Terry uh, down here, the announcer and myself do not agree on the <laughs> on the marks tonight, but it looks more to me like about a third and eight. At any rate, it'll be first and goal here. We get done with this one. Here's a pitch. Over here, we got a man out here. It's going to be Bingaman. Kyle's got it. He's dropped at the 30-yard line. Coming up to make the stop number 12 for Millersburg. But Bingaman with another fine reception that time. Daly, the quarterback of Millersburg, and now playing defense, made the stop. But a, another fine pass. And another loop, loping pass. Kind of a blooper Jim threw that time. Now, the, it was a hard one over the middle before that Wegner did not handle, but that time he just sort of looped that thing out here and left Kyle Bingham and run right under it. First and 10 from the 30. Handoff, Shadel up the middle with a Shadel burst for about eight yards down to the 22-yard line. Shadel, the ball carries nice the run that time by that Nathan Shadel, Rock picking up about, uh, well, give him six anyway. He moved the ball back where his knee hit, I guess, back at the 25-yard line, picking up second six, down second down four. four. <clears throat> Second and four. Let's stay back with this Trojan outfit. Up the middle with it goes 42, and that's that. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Lost the handle on a football, and it is going to be intercepted by, or rather recovered by Millersburg. Oh, Stinscom that time lost a handle on it. Ah, darn it. Well, anyway, we'll get that one back. Jason was all the way down at around the 13 when that one kind of squirted loose in there. And so the Trojans will turn it over with 429 left here in the first quarter. Excellent ball game so far. Trojans doing very, very well and in, get themselves into a 7-7 seven, seven tie here. Daly on a first and 10. First man through, but I think we're going to have motion on Millersburg. I believe that's going to be illegal motion. I think we had a couple of backs Toronto, moving Parker that time. Let's see what the call is. The is he going to wave across his chest? I think so. No, he's going to say no flag. Oh, that was nice. No flag. They'll run the play again. First and 10 from the 12. No flag. I could have swore there was two guys in motion that time, but I guess not. Anyhow. No penalty on the play. It will replay first down. First and 10 from the 12. I didn't realize uh, Millersburg was back there that far, but that's where they are, back at the 12-yard line. So if UD can hold them back here now. Daly hands this one off. Second man coming through there. Grab nicely. What another excellent tackle. Made in there this time, I think, by Mace. Assisted by uh, Grafen and uh, Byron Hoover, I think, also went on that stop. Quarterback still has it. And let's see. He's going to look to throw one down the left side over there. It is complete. 
And dragged out of bounds immediately over there by Bowers is that uh, Ford. Ford, Charlie Ford, took it for a first down, picking up about 17 yards on that play. They'll bring it out to the 27-yard line, where it'll be first in Ted Millersburg. So Daly getting them out of trouble that time, and Charlie Ford connecting on that one. Nice pass on the run. Daly running over there towards the left side and spotted Charlie down there and he hit Charlie on the run and it was a very nice play. Bauer knocking him out of there to stop it. First and 10. Oh yeah. Second and 12. <laughs> nice job in there with that Byron Hoover. Coming up and making a stop again on him. Etzweiler's Excellent okay. job. Etzweiler lost about a yard or so. Or, or, uh, loss of two back to the 25. Second down 12. He, Okay, now Terry down here is calling him Grafe. Who is uh, 40 for us? I thought 60 was Grafe, and Terry twice called him, called 40. 40 is Byron Hoover, isn't it? We'll check this out here, folks. I think we were, I think Terry down here is misnaming him. Byron Hoover, oh, another good smack in there. As coming up there is Mace that time. Dustin busting in there and making a big stop on him. Hit him first. That a boy, Dustin, way to go. Another Jordan loss on the play. Down. That time only about another yard. It'll be third down and 12. They'll put the Justin ball back Justin at the 25-yard line. First, or rather third and 12. Lost a yard on the play. No gain on the play. Third down, 12. Third, 12. Oh, well, let's see what we can do with this. Trojan defense looking very, very good. Quarterback still has it. He's going to look. Dumps one down the side over here. Incomplete. Incomplete. Intended for number 36 over here. That's Weiler. And that's Weiler couldn't hang on to that one. Well, that'll bring up a fourth down. So once again, the Trojans have held here and should get the ball back in good field position. They'll send back Bauer and Bingaman to uh, run this one back. They've been kicking it over to uh, Bauer mainly. Matthews had the opportunity more often tonight to receive these punts, so we'll see which way they angle this one. Ooh, sort of a high snap, but not bad. No rush put on. And it's going to be Bauer again, dropping back to the 35-yard line to 40. A 45, go Matt. All right, all the way into Millersburg territory at the Millersburg 40, three or four yard line. Nice run back that time by Matt, running into a crowd over there and doing an excellent job with it. Way to go, Matthew. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. Two minutes remaining here in the first quarter. Seven up is our score. And we have the two flankers on the tight end of the field, the shortest side over there this time. This uh, handoff is going to be to uh, Shadle, and Shadle picks his way ahead for a couple of yards down to the 37-yard line. Shadle, the ball nice run by Nathan Shadle. Picking up uh, six on the and play. It'll be second and four. Gain of about six. Second down four. Ball now resting at the 37-yard line of Millersburg. Same formation now. Power eye in the backfield. They run Shadow from that through the blocking of uh, Tony the Tiger Motter. Again, Shadle up the middle with it. Shadle for some more good yard. He's just short of the first down, maybe Mason by a Shadle yard. The ball carrier for the Trojans. Shadle picking up three more. Down to about the 32 yard line. It'll be Very awfully close, close to a, a first, first down. down. Looks a little short from here. No referee and says it is, it is a first down. All right. Down. I thought it was short, but it wasn't. It was good for another UD first down. So the Trojans really having their way mostly here now on the ground and in the air. Just got stymied on the last trip down here with that uh, fumble, but we won't do that again. We don't do that twice in a game. Here's a passing play, firing one deep. Over here is Bingaman. Bingaman has this one thrown out of bounds. Buffington's pass is incomplete. As Jimbo got a little bit too much arm on that one, and Kyle was unable to grab that one. He knew he would be going out of bounds to get it, so he uh, couldn't do that. So it'll be second and 10. I don't think Bingham is going to be involved in this play as they call the signals before Kyle ever got back to the huddle. <laughs> anyway, let's see what happens here now. I 
This time it'll be Shadle again. Shadle following some good blocking, picks up about four or five. They're down around the 27, 28 yard line. Takes it down to the 26 of Miller. Okay, on a second down and four. Bingaman goes in motion. Over on the right side. Hand off this time is a Shadle again. Shadle stopped right at the 25 yard line. Gain of a yard or so on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down and two. Wilbur making the stop for Millersburg that time. Stinscom number 42 in the backfield there. He's uh, in there as a blocking back as the uh, fullback position. And the quarter ended on the last play. So we've got a 7-7 seven, seven tie. If you got here late, you didn't miss a thing. We're all even. Seven up. All right, we've changed field positions at the quarter, and now the Trojans will be heading south here at the ballpark, and we'll see if that uh, is good for six. Big fourth down play, however. Oh, not anymore. It'll be first and 10 for UDA. Millersburg jumping off sides, gives the Trojans a freebie, and that should help the Trojans. Now as they'll spot the ball at the, uh, let's see, 20 or 19 yard line, rather. First and He's 10 from the 19. 19. Boy, what a break that was. That's the difference between the first couple of ball games and the last couple of ball games. You know, UDA would do dumb things like that. Now they let the other team do it. <laughs> Here's uh, Buffington getting ready to do something with this one. Pitches it over here for Shadle. Good block in the backfield. Shadle sprung around the left side. Shadle down to the five. Oh, he's down to the one. Excellent block in the backfield here, and I believe it was by that uh, Wegner number 31. We'll check it again, but boy, what an excellent, excellent block. Somebody sprung him really loose, and you could see that nice block just blocking that Millersburg defender out to the outside and allowing Shadel to gallop all the way down to the, oh, one and a half or two. One and a yard and a half. Shadel, who has scored the last five, Four touchdowns for sure for UD. I'm not sure if he scored the final one up at EJ. Gets another opportunity. Shadle for six. Good. Nathan Shadle into the end zone. You cannot fumble in the end zone, so that doesn't matter that he did drop the ball. You can fumble it into the end zone, but you can't fumble it in the end zone. So Shadle for six more, and UD has climbed out to a 13-7 lead here. Now with an extra point try cover. Way to go, boys. Trojans must give a little thanks that time to uh, Millersburg for that fourth and two offsides jump. But from there on, they capitalized, as other teams have done to us in the past, on that mistake. So, way to go. Sulio Sorovic getting ready to kick this one up for the extra point. It is blocked. This time it's blocked. Nice rush put in there that time by that number 20 of Millersburg, and he made the block. And so uh, the score will be now 13-7 UD by six. Played 20, or rather 14 seconds into the second period here. Here's Zulio's kickoff. It's got to go over there. Charlie Ford's got it at the 10, 15, the 20, the 25. Charlie with a burst of speed all the way down to the 37-yard line where he is stopped out there. Looked like Whitmer might have been in there, number 63. Might have been helping on that stop. First and 10, Millersburg on their own 33-yard line. Boy, what a, what a difference this has been the last couple of weeks to watch these guys start to perform and play football like a team out there, and they're doing just that. Playing nicely. 60 out there is great. 60 is great for us. 77 uh, wrestler. We can find some of these other guys. Bauer, of course, we know. Right over the center out there is that Byron Hoover. 40 for us. Here we go on a first and 10 now for those Millersburgers. Daly looks to pass, gets swamped under there. Who is it? 56. Mace coming in there again. True Mace. Captain, or Dustin Mace, I beg your pardon. Dustin coming in there and making a big stop. Loss of five on the play, second and 15. Way to go. Okay. Ready to go now on a second down, 15. 
Pitch back over to this side. Here comes Ford with it, and Ford is tackled out at the 35-yard line. Coming up there is Hunter along with Mace and uh, Wegner making the stop. Nice uh, job in there done by those three guys. Gain of three on the play. It'll be third and 12. Okay, I'm going to show you the marker. Is that 13 there? Is that three yards? One, two. Yeah, maybe it is. It's okay. Third, third down and 13. Terry Bowser and I have our bifocals upside down, I think, tonight. <laughs> anyway, on a third and 13. Here's a handoff. 33's got it. I think that's that Kelly uh, Norton or Morton or whatever that is. And, uh, or 33 is Gordon. Gordon. There you go. Okay. Caleb, Caleb Gordon. Caleb Gordon. He's back in there, and he's got himself about uh, 11 yards on the play. It'll bring up a fourth down and one. Tony the Tiger Motter knocking him out of bounds over there in front of the Millersburg bench. But Millersburg acts like they're going to punt this one away. And if they do, they're going to be punting it back here to uh, Tony Motter. Tony looks like he has his bedroom slippers on back here. He's getting a line drive kick, and he's got to allow this one to go way back. Is he going to pick it up? Oh, my goodness, yes, at the five. <laughs> so they really got Tony all Motter on the return. Uh, uh, tangled up back there at about the five-yard line. That time. A nice kick by down there the putter. The the Tony wasn't line. sure what he wanted to do with that one. In hindsight, he probably should have left it go into the end zone if he could have because they might have uh, gone in there and brought it out to the 20-yard line. But they don't just know what to do. You know, the thing might have rolled dead back there and uh, never got to the end zone. So well, let's see what happens here now. As the Trojans now have uh, 95 yards to go for this six. They put the power eye in the backfield again here as Buffington sets them up. Hand off here for Shadel. Shadel's got some running rope up the middle. And Shadel all the way out to the 15-yard line. A fine run for nearly a first down, depending on the spot. It'll be awfully close. Second down. Nathan picking up nine. Second down and one. Number 22, Justin Hirsch. And second down and a short one. Second and one. The time for Jim to... Uh, Throw one deep here and see somebody go 85 yards with it. Nope. Second man through has got the first down, and that's a nice drive in there after he was stopped at the line of, of uh, scrimmage. Stinscom bursts ahead for about two or three. Nice run that time by Jason after he was pretty much stacked up right at the line of scrimmage, and he burst ahead for the first down. First and 10 UD at the... 17-yard line. Reber, or, uh, Riggle, 74 in there for UD. Back to pass goes Buffington. Looking, firing. Man is out here. It's going to be Bingaman. Bingaman breaks it out to the 39-yard line. Excellent pass again from Jim Buffington to Kyle Bingaman. Nice run after the catch. And a good bunch of yards on that play. First and 10 UD. This time the backs will be split on this on this one. I think Stinscom and Shade will split in the backfield. And timeout's going to be called. Something a little goofy with this one. And Jim Buffington says, hey, what the heck are we supposed to do here? And he'll call time. Been handed an announcement here by the UDA Round Ball Club. Coach Huffman has overstocked his van. <laughs> Now the Trojans have got it figured out. The timeout is over. They'll split the backs as they were going to last time. In the slot on this side is uh, Bingaman. Back to pass he goes. Going to set up a screen. It's set up complete. Four people out in front of him. This is Shadle. And Shadle bursts away from one tackler. Runs down the side over there. And is finally thrown out of bounds. Way down at about the 30-yard line or inside the 30-yard line. Boy, did they have that set up nice. Shadle with a big, big yardage play once again for those Trojans. Down at the 31-yard line is where they knock him out of bounds. It'll be first and 10 UDA. Good gain on that play. Boy, they had that one set up nice. Must have been at least four black jerseys over there to block for uh, Nathan. And, of course, he ran right by everybody for a while and 
Good yardage. Up the middle he goes with it again. Shadle bouncing off over to the right side. Gets a block. Gets another block. And goes down to the 18-yard line. The ball carrier brought down by number 12, Nick Daly. Daly picking him off finally down there. But Nathan again with a fine, fine run. It'll be first and 10 now for UD. Another good gainer there for that Nathan Shadle. Shadle lines up at the running back spot. Stinchcomb, the fullback. And this time it's going to be a fake to Shadle. Pass to the end zone. Nope, incomplete. Uh, that one there got goofy. Just something happened to that one. Wagner uh, did not get anywhere near where that ball was thrown. So I don't know if, if uh, somebody either cut their own way or whatever. I'm not sure. But that one wasn't very close. And it, didn't, it looked more to me like somebody got a little goofed up on that one. At any rate, it'll bring up a second and ten. They go to the I formation in the backfield this time for UD. Flankers on the near side of the field. Boy, but Jim gets time to throw. He really does. Good blocking. And that time, just as I said that, somebody puts a big crunch on him. Yep, 73 come blasting in there on a semi-blitz, I guess it was, because he was in there very quickly. Justin Snyder making the good defensive play. It'll bring up a third and ten now for UDA. Trojans at the Millersburg 18. 7-14 left here in the first half. Trojans by six. 13-7. And they'll put the receivers out on the far side of the field on this third and ten. Back to pass goes Buffington. Fires one over there. Man is out there. It's going to be Bingaman. And Bingaman, short of the first down by about two or three yards. Kyle is rode down at around the... 11-yard line, maybe. Bring up a fourth down and about three. Fourth down and about three or four. Yep. Tony Motter checking out of the ball game for UD. Big play here for the Trojans on a fourth and about three. This is going to be Shadle. Shadle with three down to the five. Good run that time by Nathan Shadle. Hanging on to that football, incidentally. Way to go, Nathan. He gets it down to the five. It'll be first and goal, UDA, from the Millersburg five. All right, first and goal from the five. First and goal from the five. If Shadle runs this one in, he'll be running behind the blocking of that uh, Jason Stinscombe. Sinscombe leads the way. Shadle goes in for six. Unopposed that time. Didn't get touched. Nice blocking again. Look at UD. Look at Gray out there. You know, making the blocks on the left side of that Trojan line, along with Hunter and all these guys. Just doing a great, great job. It is 19 to 7. And uh, UD uh, very well may go for two. We'll see what they decide to do here. Sulio, now they're going to tee it up and go for one. Out of the hold of uh, Bingaman. Good snap placement stop. Kick is good. All right. Way to go, Sulio. And Sulio picks up another point. It is 20 to 7 now. Six minutes, 40 seconds left here in the first half. And UDA up now by 13. Way to go, UDA. Sulio has it teed up for the fourth time here in the first uh, first half. And here's his kick. It's sky, time is going to be high, but not real deep. Taken at the 14 to the 15, the 20. And this is Gordon around the right side over there, and he's picking up some blockers and still on his feet. Got one man to beat or so back there, and now coming up behind. No, 50. Finally, Hunter comes up from nowhere and catches him at the 32-yard line. So a darn nice run back before Hunter here could grab him and, and throw him down. Number, number 50 10. for UDA, way to go. But an excellent run back all the way to the 32 yard line of UDA. So Millersburg with some excellent field position, plenty of time left here in the first half. Six minutes, 26 seconds remaining in the half. Millersburg trailing by 13, but they have set themselves up very nicely on that fine run, run back by uh, Gordon there. Single setback in the backfield for Millersburg. 
Daly will go back to pass. Looking down the left side over here. Man is out here. It is going to be tipped away nicely on a fine defensive play by Aaron Wegner. Nice play by that Aaron Wegner. Hurst was the intended receiver, but boy, Wegner got a paw up there and slapped that one down very, very nicely. Second and 10 for Millersburg. That's playing defensive football. Way to go, Aaron. All right, second down and 10 coming up. Oh. <laughs> Same formation in the backfield. Single running back. Flankers out on both sides. Daly would like to throw it again. He's going to try the right side this time. Got a couple of UD defenders out there, but he throws it too far. Intended for Charlie Ford, number 32. Incomplete. But uh, goes well over a Ford and the two UD defenders. So bring up a third down and 10. Okay, let's see what Millersburg will do on a third down and 10. Daly will look over the middle. Dumps one over the middle. It is complete on a nice catch. And look out here. He's going to go for six. Well, that's what they'll do. Daly passes. All of a sudden, Daly says, well, I can't throw him down the sidelines. Well, how about trying one over the middle? And it was good for six. That was about a 25-yard pass play or 27, something like that. Nice pass by that Daly to uh, number 20. And he carried it in. So we've got ourselves back into a ball game again now. It is uh, 20 to uh, 13 with an extra point try coming up here. High snap, but here is a kick. The kick is good. So kick is good for the Indians. 20 to 14, UD by and six. And uh, we'll be right back with that Indian kickoff. That was surprising 14. that time, to be honest with you. I didn't think the Trojans were going to allow them to do that, but they did. And so we'll be back with that Millersburg kick here in just a moment. Well, it's now 2014 with 6.06 left here in the first half. On the kickoff this time, the UDA will send back uh, Shadle, the near man, and Bauer on the far side to receive this Millersburg kick. Good ball game here. Here's the kick. Oop, low, squibbly kick. Touched. Let's see. Somebody better get it. They're going to down it out here at the 34-yard line, or 33 maybe. Picking it up there is Byron Hoover. But it'll be first and 10 for the, the, foul, 40, Byron uh, for the Trojans. Trojans. And the UDA office They're going to put it at the 33-yard line. First and 10 on their own so let's see if the Trojans can do it again here now. They have plenty of time remaining also. Six minutes left here in the first half. Wegner is the wide out on the far side of the field. I formation in the backfield for UD. Here comes Bingaman in motion over this way. Pitches for Shadle. Nice pitch. Shadle's got it. Good running room. Up the middle he goes with it. Picking up about five or so on the play. Nathan Shadle, the ball carrier. Out to the 37 yard line. Be second down and. Brought down by number 71, Josh Marshall. For second, and, second and just about six. And yep. out to the 30. That was great. Seven yard line, gain of four, second down, six. Okay, on a second and six. Same eye formation again. This time the handoff is again to Shadle. Trips ahead, getting out to the 43 yard line. Brought down this time nice by run by Nathan. Hirsch. Hirsch making the stop, third and one. And Picked up five or four on the play. Five on the play, actually, Brown third down third and down one. one. Third and one. We're going to stay in here and see what they do with it. On a third and one. Hold everything. Now what? No. Agents are flagged that time for an offsides, and I'm sure you're going to be able to see who it was. Coaches, well, I never saw who it was, but uh, coaches might be able to tell you. Tell the young fellow who it was. I guess he knows, but uh, anyway, <laughs> I didn't see it. Looked good to me. Anyhow, we'll try it on a third and six now. It makes it a little different here for UD. They'll split the backs this time in the backfield. 
And Buffington would like to throw it. Sets up another screen. The screen is good. But this time it's not going to go anywhere as uh, pass, complete to this pass is Nathan complete Shadle. to Nathan Shadle. But Nathan tackled for a loss of a uh, yard or so in a play. So for the first time tonight, I believe the Trojans will be, or maybe the second time here in the ball game, the Trojans will be punting. It'll be fourth down and eight. And Nick Huffman, who had punted once back before, now that I think about it, uh, will be back there to punt this ball away and see if Nick can get a good one off. Yeah, he'll punt it down the side over there, and let's see. It's going to be out of bounds somewhere around the 35, 37-yard line. We'll see where they spot it. And Nick Huffman's punt will roll out of bounds and, at the 35-yard uh, like it's going to be spotted at about the 36. And Millersburg will start first and 10. And it'll be first and 10, Indians. It was not one of the better offensive series for UD. The uh, offside penalty kind of uh, blurred that one a little bit. But we'll see what happens here now on a first and 10 for Millersburg. Quarterback still has it. He's going to fire it over the middle. It's going to be, oh boy, almost picked off in there. It looked like Hunter. Number 16 out there might have had uh, a chance to get that one, but it must have been right over his head. Pass was complete to the 44. The second and two. Wow. Mm -hmm. We'll try this uh, second and two now. Oh, two men in motion. Come on. All right, we got illegal motion. That'll make it a second down and uh, seven when they march this one off. That was obvious. Anybody could call that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two men in motion. So uh, they'll take that one back five. 3.07 left here in the first half. Nine o'clock uh, counting it down. Second and seven for Millersburg. Ball at the 39-yard line of Millersburg. Quarterback has it. He's going to look to throw. Getting a rush. Fires one over to this side. It's complete. Out here for that Gordon. I think it is Gordon. Cutting it upfield. Oh, he made a couple good moves out here. And he's going to go all the way. In for a touchdown to tie up this ball game. Well, can you believe that? Oh, my. What a good run that time by Caleb Gordon as he caught the pass out here at about the 40-yard line, maybe, and took it all the way in. So we're all tied up at 20-all, and the Trojans are definitely stung by that one because they had some misses out here that you wouldn't believe. And, uh, gee whiz. Well, okay. Got a good one going here now for sure. 20-20, Millersburg looking to regain the lead here. They had led 7-0 early. Here's the spot. Kick is up. The kick is good. Millersburg takes a one-point lead here right before halftime. It is 21-20 now, and UD will be getting the ball right back. Huh. 2.39 remaining in the half. 21-20, Millersburg. And the Millersburg has her teed up, ready to kick it off again. It'll be Bauer. Bauer's going to take the near side this time. Here's the kick. He's going to go over there and be taken by Shadle at the 14. Here he comes. Here comes that Nathan Shadle. Nathan busts it up here to the 34-yard line where he is down. UD will put it in play right there. First and 10. Two and a half minutes remaining here for UD. And they got to get her going now and uh, not make any mistakes out here. See if we can't get that lead back, take it into halftime. It's going to be one of those nip and tuck ball games. Nip has the lead right now, but tuck coming on. <laughs> Here we go. First and ten. Shadle hand, or Shadle's got the handoff. Shadle's got good running room over here, and he runs out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. It'll be second down and, uh, well, second down and one. Yeah, you did pick up nine. Second and one. Stop the clock with 2.27 left here in the first half. Trojans really have been unstoppable, but they've hurt themselves once or twice tonight. Once on a fumble, once on a penalty. So we'll see if we can play a clean two and a half minutes here. Here's Shadle. Oh, man. Shadle that time has got the first down, but boy, it wasn't uh, easy. Yeah, you can hear that one popping from up here. 
Shade of a ball carrier. I think uh, they got to measure this one. No, first we'll down. Have the first down. UD first down at the 45. Line. So Trojans will put it in play right there with 2.14 remaining, and the clock is set into motion now. So we'll be down around the two minute mark when we get this one off. Or under two, perhaps. I in the backfield again here as Buffington looks them over. He's going to hand this to the Shadle. Shadle over the left side. Nice hole again for Nathan, picking Nathan up about Shadle seven. And a nice run that time by that Nathan Shadle. Picked up seven. It'll be second down and three. Up second Minute down and 43 three. left here in the first half. Trojans on a drive to the 48-yard line of Millersburg. We don't want Millersburg to take a lead in the halftime. Don't want that. Again, from the I formation with the back split out on both sides, here is a passing play. Here's a good pass, thrown downfield, it's out of bounds, overthrown a little bit that time. It was intended for Kyle Bingaman, but uh, that time Jim got too much arm into that one. <clears throat> Fired it out of bounds there, it'll be third and three. Third and three is the call. Handoff, Shadle's got it. Shadle comes over to the right side over here and he's gonna be tripped up. Coming up there to make the stop, running number Shadle 22 for Millersburg. It is down. a first down as Nathan picked up about five or so on the play. The Four on the play anyway. First and 10 for the First Trojan. and 10 now, but the clock becoming a factor here in the first half, a minute and six seconds and the clock moving on downward here now. So we'll be under one minute to play when they get this one off. Matter of fact, we're under one minute right now. So it will be first and 10. Pass over the far side, complete over there for Bingaman. Bingaman's got it, and Kyle did not get out of bounds, and they'll have to call time now to stop that clock. It'll be at the 33-yard line, and a timeout called by UDA. 45 seconds left here in the first half. Are they measuring this, or are they changing the sticks? No, they're going to change the sticks. It is a first and down. A and first UD down. will have called their second time out of the half. So we have one more left. All right, here we go now on a first and 10, but more importantly, 45 seconds remaining here in the first half. Buffing and hold everything. Flag on the play. Once again, the Trojans lined up off sides, and I don't, I don't know how that can occur. I can see it occurring once. But I can't see a fella not knowing that he's offsides out there. So that uh, that, that, that play there is going to need some study and some instructions or something. I don't know. Anyway, back to pass goes Buffington. Fires one down this side. It is complete. They try to fumble or try to lateral it backwards, perhaps, and it's going to be recovered now as Shadel might have been trying to. I think he was going to try to lateral that back here for Bingaman, but. Uh, he was hit at about the time he was going to try to throw it back here for Buffington, which I think is the way the play was designed. And anyway, Millersburg has the football at the 34-yard line, first and 10. Millersburg, now they have 34 seconds left here. So by gosh, the Trojans have got to tighten up the defense now for sure. Uh, going into the halftime with a one-point deficit is not nearly as bad as what the uh, alternative might be. So let's see what we can do with this. Are they just going to be content to set on it? Well, now we got, oh, man, without a mouthpiece. That'll cost him five because he did not have his mouthpiece in place. The fullback back there had the mouthpiece out, and uh, they got to set him back five. I think the Indians are going to be content probably to set on this, the way they're lining up this formation anyway. They got the... Running back back there about 12 yards off the football, and they could just set on it. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. Okay, they're going to be content to run out the half here now Bailey takes the and take a one-point lead into uh, halftime. Second down, looks like Miller's just going to run out the clock. 22 seconds and counting. Clock is counting down. I don't know that they'd have to run another one. They could get down to the two-second thing before they'd get the whistle if it was 25 seconds between... Uh, plays the official is going to pick up the football and they're going to allow it to run down I believe or are they going to charge him five I don't know 
Yep, no, that's going to do it. The uh, half has ended, but Millersburg goes into the locker room in uh, better shape than they might have been, having trailed 20 to 7, and now take a 21 to 20 lead into halftime here at UDA. So we'll be back. We'll regroup and come back for the second half here in just a moment. Well, the Trojans are making their way back onto the field following their halftime uh, rest. And we assume that they are really going to be pumped up here and regain that lead early. The Trojans will get the opportunity of having the ball first to begin the second half as Billersburg will kick off to the Trojans. The Trojans having deferred until the second half. And so presumably they will elect to... Uh, get that uh, ball back and maybe we can score quick and get that lead back again so let's see what happens and uh, we'll be set for the opening kickoff here to begin the second half of play in just a moment well indeed Upper Dolphin will get the football to begin the second half Shadlin Bauer back to receive for UD and uh, John Haynes is teeing it up here for the Indians very beautiful night for a football game. No wind at all and uh, cool. Not cool for the ball players. I'm sure they're overheated, but for the fans, nice and cool. Not cold by any means. Here's the kick. Going to be coming over here towards uh, Bauer. Bauer dribbles it once or twice. Has it at the five. He's going to try to start it upfield now, and Matt is going to get swarmed under at the 14-yard line. As Millersburg came down here and got some coverage on him. And it'll be first and 10 for UDA. Looks like they're spotted at the 15. So Matt with about an eight-yard run back on that one. We'll spot it at the 15. First and 10, UD. Very important first series here for the Trojans, I believe now, because they've got to be a little, dis whoops, a little disheartened by the fact that they had that 20-7 to lead in the second quarter and saw that melt away very rapidly here so we need to get uh, on the scoreboard here if we can now uh, on this series it'll be an 85 yard series but we can do it pass nearly intercepted oh boy number 43 almost picked that one off wow Haynes got his hand on that one wait till we get your hands on you right well he got his hands on that one we have a penalty and it's going to go against UD because they're talking to Millersburg, and that's going to be a holding penalty, probably. We didn't get the official signal yet. Here it is. Yeah, it's holding against the Trojans, and that's going to take them all the way back to the eight-yard line, <clears throat> or seven and a half, whatever, half of 15. So let's see what we can do now. The Trojans... We'll look to get out of this. Here's a pass play coming down this side. Where's that going? No one near it. Again, uh, somebody running some kind of a irregular pattern or whatever because Bingaman, I guess, was the intended receiver. He had quit 15 yards downfield for where Jim's pass ended up. So I'm not sure what the heck that was all about. But at any rate, it'll bring up a second down and uh, about... Uh, 17 or something like that. Flankers are on the near side of the field now for UD. Eye in the backfield. Oops, wait a minute. Hold everything. This might have been uh, five yards encroachment against the Millersburg Indians. That will indeed be the call. Move the ball out to the 13 yard line. No, it's not on. Yeah, he, 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 the guy marked it off right. <clears throat> yeah. Second down. <laughs> the referee called it UD, but uh, the lines with everybody else in the ballpark knew it was against Millersburg, and they marked it off correctly. Second down, 12. Back to pass. Firing down this way. It is complete on a fine catch. Good catch out there by Aaron Wagner, who caught it with number 10 of Millersburg wrapped all around him. Boy, oh boy, nice catch by Aaron. Way to hang on to that football. You get them close to these guys, these receivers, uh, Bingaman or Wagner, they're going to catch it. They'll catch more than, than not, that's for sure. Same formation, I in the backfield. 
And this time it's going to be Shadle. Shadle cutting it off the uh, tackle over here. And uh, goes ahead for about Shadle, three and up for the first down. Off the 25, should have a Trojan first nice down. first down there run Brown by down that down uh, Nathan Shadle. Picking up about four on the down play. Ball is at the 28 or 29 yard line. First and 10, UD. Just need a good sustained drive. We don't need any 70 yard pass plays, although that'd be nice, just so we can keep it and keep it moving. Here's a pass play. Firing. Interse oh, almost intercepted. Oh, Daly of Millersburg just about picked that off. Nick would have been good for six had he picked that one off because there were no Trojans near him. Wow. Yep. Tough pass that time. Jimbo fired it out there, but boy, they just dodged the bullet on that one. It'll be second and ten. <clears throat> Ball actually at the 29-yard line of UD. Everybody out on the wide side of the field, which is the far side in this case. Pass again. Looking. Firing over the middle. It is knocked down and almost picked off again out there well, as uh, Daly was near it again. Along with number 80 of uh, Millersburg. It is third and 10. Jim's shaking his head now as these guys are not getting open, and Jim's firing into a crowd here last couple of times. So now let's see if we can get somebody shaking loose here. and Maybe it's time to run Nathan up the middle, see if he can gain us 10 or more. Shadle's a good game-breaking runner, and uh, let's see what happens on this one. It'll be Shadle again, sweeping the left side. Shadle trying to pick his way ahead, gets out here close to the first down. Actually got darn close to the first down. We'll see where they spot it. Shadle with a good run that time. It is a first down. Trojan first down. Way to go, Nathan Shadle. That was a big one that time. As Nathan got uh, 10 out of that on a third and 10. And Nathan Shadle able to gain 10. Number 10, Dave Pichel of Likens. In there now at a tight end position for UD. Let's see if David can help spring Shadle around this side. Well, up the middle that time. Let's see. Still dragging ahead here. He's got about two yards out of it. A tough two that time. That was that's uh, Jason Stinscom. And Jason picks up about two. It'll be second down and eight. By Carroll and Josh Marshall, number six, 42 yards. Trojans will break the huddle here now on a second and eight. I don't care what Terry says. <laughs> he said second and Seven, I say second and eight. Whoa, make that second and uh, five. Or rather, second and two. Trojans with another big break. Boy, a lot of jumping off sides tonight. Both clubs to guilty of that call tonight. It'll be second down and three, actually. Two. Two, Terry, come on. Second and two, what's Terry doing? That, no, it's, it's not four, but it's sure three. Anyway, all right. Oh, did we do it again? Nope. That time the ref allowed him that time. Here's Shadle. Shadle dragging for the first down. If they give him his forward progress, it will be awfully close. This might even be measurable. Let's see where they spot it. It's going to be very close. The ref will pick it up. And they'll spot it out here. Let's see. Does he put it down at his right foot or his left foot? Nah, see, now they're going to let it go because it was close enough to measure. Ref shouldn't have never picked up the darn ball. Now he's going to eyeball. I think it's a first down anyway. So does he. Oh, he was ready to throw the arm. Come on. Now they're going to measure it. They're going to measure it. Ref said I shouldn't have picked it up. He was right. Looks from here like it would be a first down. We'll find out. Yep. By about the front tip of the football. First down, UDA. It will be a Trojan first down. All right. Way to go, UDA. Trojan boys trying to get the crowd into it over here now. They know Millersburg's crowd is into it. They have that one-point lead, but they see the Trojans grinding it out here, starting at their own 15-yard line, then had the penalty, and eventually now have driven it out here to the midfield stripe. 8.44 left here in the third quarter. Here's Shadle again. Shadle up the middle, dragging it ahead for four to the 46-yard line. Nice drive by Nathan. 
Millersburg territory. It'll be second down and six. Actually, did move it closer to the 45-yard line. Second and five. I agree with uh, Terry this time. The Bowser and I agreeing on the call. <laughs> Here's a pitch. Here's a reverse. It's going to be Bingaman. Bingaman chasing it around in the backfield. He nearly got himself tripped up there. And then he goes out of bounds after a gain of only about a yard or maybe less. So that one there kind of took a little bit too much time, I think, with the reverse that time. They were deep when they handed it off and uh, kind of ran more laterally than up the field. And uh, it'll be third and about uh, five. Anyway, might have gained a half a football length on that one. Big play here for UD. Receivers out wide on the near side. You see them here. Handoff is to uh, Shadle. Shadle tries to bust it ahead for uh, the first down yardage, but can't make it. Picked up two. It'll be fourth and three. Shadle the ball carry for the Trojans. Yep, nothing doing on that one. Millersburg tightened it up pretty King. quickly. King. So it'll bring up a fourth three. and uh, three. They have fourth Ball's at two. the 43-yard line of Millersburg. The Millersburg fans really getting into it on the defense, encouraging their defense now as UD will go for it. This will be a big play right here. It's going to be Shadle with it. Shadle has the first down as he breaks over the 40-yard line. Just enough for the first down. Got it by about a yard. Excellent drive that time for Shadle. Picking up that first down yardage. And again, you see the uh, Trojan uh, boys out there <coughs> Trying to get the crowd into the ball game. The Millersburg crowd is into it. <coughs> UD doing a pretty good job of supporting these guys tonight. And we'll see what happens here now. On a first and ten. It's going to be a pass. Fires it down this side. Man is open over here. He catches the ball. Goes out of bounds with it. A completed pass to Bingaman. A nice catch that time by Kyle Bingaman. And Kyle flutters his way back <laughs> onto the field there. Kyle thought for a minute he was a Lime Mountain Eagle there where he was flying and flopping, but no. <laughs> anyway, first down UDA at the 26-yard line. Just keep it going here, boys. Six minutes, 36 seconds left in the third quarter. The clock stopped because Kyle was forced out of bounds with that one. Hold everything. Here comes a five-yard penalty against UD, probably. We'll see. D again flagged for that offsides lining up uh, on the offensive line. And uh, again, I don't know why. Here comes Bingham in, in motion. Handoff is a Shadle. Shadle bounces off a couple of tacklers and drives it all the way inside the 25 to perhaps the 23-yard line. A Andy nice gain the the for uh, UD. Brought down by Mike Carroll. Picking up oh, four on the play. <clears throat> It'll be second and uh, seven or six, something like that. Trojans want to keep this one going now. Come on, boys. Handoff is to Stinscombe this time. Stinscombe breaks into the secondary and drives it down to the 15-yard line. The ball nice run that time by Jason Stinscombe, bouncing off of a couple and of people and gaining the first down. down. The ball will be first spotted at the 15. UDA. Trojans doing an excellent job here now, containing that ball, keeping that ball on their ground last several plays. Mixing them up nicely. First and 10 from the 15. Trojans 15 yards away from regaining that lead. Quick pitch. Out here it comes to uh, Wegner. Wegner dives to the 13. Not too much on that one. Gain of about two. A little screen out here to Aaron Wegner. Aaron had no blocking out there because it was supposed to be a quick hitter. And we have... Uh, Second and eighth situation here now for UD. Justin Snyder on the tackle for Miller. Snyder shaking up on a play number 10. And uh, he's going to jog off here. Time momentarily called till he gets off there. 5-12 <clears throat> remaining in the third quarter. 
Stinscombe and Shadle, the workhorses in the backfield for UD. And this time it'll be Buffington for Shadle. Shadle picking his way up the side. Oh, slipped. That time Nathan lost Shadle his footing there. right around the line of scrimmage. Didn't get much on that. And it'll bring down a or bring, bring, up a bring up a third down, down and down nine. So Nathan that time just simply had the footing go out from under him. Grass is obviously getting wet, I guess, with the dew. We'll give him an excuse anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> And so we'll see what we can do on this. Another great big play coming up here for UD. Shadle again with it up the middle. Plenty of running room. Shadle's for six. All Nathan right. Big, big hole for Nathan Shadle. And Shadle goes in from 14 yards out that time for that senior Nathan Shadle. Another TD for the Nate. Way to go. And UD has regained the lead now. 26-21 with an extra point try coming up here. Yep. Whoops. Okay. And UD will go for two this time because the holder's coming out of the ball game. This is uh, Bingaman who normally holds. So UDA is going to try to get two out of this and get themselves a little bit of more of a lead. It's going to be given to Shadel. Good for the two-point conversion. Way to go, Shadle, behind some excellent blocking in there. Number 40, Byron Hoover, 71 in there, doing a good job uh, clearing out for these fellas to run through there. So the Trojans now have a 28-21 lead with 4.21 remaining here in the third quarter. Way to go, boys. 85-yard drive, capped off by about a 14-yard Nathan Shadle TD run. Okay, way to go. Jason Brandle in there blocking on the extra point try for UD also. Here's a nice high kick taken here at the 10. He'll start it up the side again. Let's see if we can cut him down this time. Gordon still on his feet, still on his feet, and finally dragged down in there by that uh, David P. Gordon Shell of Likens, number 10. But there is a flag on the play laying down here, generally where maybe clipping or something like that may have occurred. We'll see what the call is. It is a clip against Millersburg, and that is going to take them back. That's going to take the ball all the way back to the 12-yard line, and that's where the Indians will put it in play. First and 10, the ball will be on the 13, he says, so I'll have to go with the 13, I guess. Actually, that's a 12 and a half. <laughs> anyway, yeah. First and 10, Millersburg now, UD up on top by eight, by seven, rather. And uh, see what happens here. See if we can play some good D now. Here's a handoff, up the middle, and let's see, where the heck is it? No, here he comes, and he's gonna be tackled. And a five tackle to Aaron Wagner. Ball carrier brought down by number 31, Aaron <laughs> Wagner on the play. Wagner the with a good stop in there after a short gain of about a yard or so. <coughs> Three minutes, 50 NBA seconds NBA remaining NBA in the NBA third NBA. quarter. Second and nine coming up here now as uh, Mace calls the defensive signals for UD. Wrestler is in there. Hoover is in there. Grafe. Zulio. From the shotgun. Quarterback standing at his seven-yard line. Good. Oh, high snap. And he is getting a big rush, but he gets out of the uh, pocket. And here he comes. Now you'll have to tuck it. And he's going to be tackled over there as Bauer comes up and makes a good solo tackle over there by Bauer. Short of the first down. It'll be uh, spotted at the 20. It'll be third down in about three. Nice tackle that time by that Matthew Bauer. Boy, the Trojans putting the pressure on Daly that time. Had him scrambling for his life back there and out of the shotgun formation. So uh, Trojans really busting in across that uh, Millersburg defense or offensive line. <clears throat> the fellas doing a good job in there. Let's see what he does on this one now. He goes back over the center for the snap. Pitches over this way, and let's see. It's going to be Gordon, but he is going to be tackled this time. 
again. Aaron Wagner coming up there and making the stop. Good job. Short of the first down. In fact, they lost about a yard or so. It'll be fourth down, and Millersburg will be forced to punt that ball out of here. And UD should get the ball in excellent field position. They'll send back Bingaman and uh, Bauer this time to receive this punt. Excellent defensive series there for UD. Two minutes remaining in the third. Good snap. And a nice kick. Spiraling kick. Going to be taken back here at the 45-yard line. Picked up again by Bingham, and then he's tripped up at the 42. So Kyle with no run back that time. Kind of lost the handle on that one. And it'll be spotted at the 42. First and 10. UDA goes right back to work again. Do the Trojans here on their own 42-yard line. Take over first and 10 from their own 42. All right. Jim Buffington has gotten the signals from the bench. And he will share that with his fellow Trojans. And again, they're going to go to that eye backfield. This time it's going to be Buffington running for his life. Dumps a little pass out here. It is complete, I believe. And there are flags on the play, or at least one flag. Fly on the play. Could Buffington be holding, no, illegal receiver downfield. What happened that time was, uh, I think, the initial runner that time <clears throat> for UD, the one who was supposed to get the ball, slipped heading toward the, the line that time, and Jim was Jim forced to run it. And, of course, the play was designed as a running play. So, obviously, some of the Trojans were downfield when Jim finally found uh, Wagner over there, I think it was, to throw one to. So, uh, that'll be loss of down as well as, uh, I think it's a loss second of down. down. No, only second down. No, it won't be. It'll only be uh, second down. Okay. I thought maybe they lost one on that. But uh, here comes Bingaman in motion over on the far side. Handoff is to... Uh, Shadle and Shadle puts the head down and smashes Shadle's out here to around the 40 yard line. Brought down at the 40 yard line by number 22. Probably picked up 10 or 11 game, or yards on the play, but it will make it a third down and just Game's about, about uh, 12. Third down and 11. Or third and 11, whichever. <clears throat> So we'll have a big one coming up here. On a third and 11, will the Trojans go to the air? Uh, no. Going to go to Shadle. Shadle up the middle. Look out. Look out. Oh, Shadle. Oh. He Nathan needed a block. Boy, what a fine run there by Nathan Shadle. Good run that time by that Nate Shadle for the first down. Down to the 47-yard line of Millersburg. First and 10, Upper Dolphin. What a good ball game here this evening. Wow. 43 seconds, 42, 40 seconds left here now in the third quarter. Oops, look out. Now we have flags on this play. That play wasn't going anywhere to begin with. Now just so you don't fumble the thing then. But now we had two guys with a false start against UDA. And that'll cost them five. Five-yard penalty on the Trojans. Spots the ball back at the 49-yard line. It'll be second down and 15, or first down and 15. This time they hand off to Shadle again, and he is hit right at the line of scrimmage. He drives it ahead for a yard or two. As time is running out here in the third quarter, on the four seconds, and that's going to do it. So they won't have to change the ball very much because the ball's at the 47 or 48 yard line of Millersburg. So they'll just go from two steps on this side of the line to two steps on the other side of the line. The Trojans have come out here in the third quarter and have taken charge again of the ball game. Now 28-21 UD. And they will be looking at uh, a second down and about uh, 12 or something like that. Yeah, second down and 11 or 12 when we come back here. So a uh, good job, good third quarter for UD, both on the defensive uh, side of things as well as the offense going that 85 yards for the score in this third quarter. 28-21 at the end of three. Okay, we're looking at a second and 12, really. Trojans with the football <clears throat> at the 48-yard line of Millersburg. 
Eye in the backfield again. Back to pass goes Buffington. Has some time. Fires it out here for Binghaman. Kyle is tackled after he gets to the 44-yard line. Gain of about five on the play. It'll bring up a third down and about eight. Bring up the third down eight. The Trojans are going to have to come up with yet another big third down play. <coughs> Same formation. Shadel with it. Shadel with a good run down to the 36-yard line. Nathan Shadel, the ball carrier. Nice run that time by Nathan Shadel, picking up nearly Jones enough for the first down. This one's going to be awfully Shadle close. I would say they're going to measure this one. As a matter of fact, down. they are going to measure this one. And it is close. I would say, uh, well, we'll watch it find out. We should get a pretty good look at this one. We'll see how close it is. It is a first down by the length of the football. First down Wasn't even here. close. All right, UDA, way to go. Let's go. All right, UD keeping this one alive, first and 10. At the Millersburg, 36. Shadel up the middle again. Whoa, lost the football, but UD has it, I believe. Uh, I believe the Trojans have covered that one. We're going to see, though. Yeah, UD has it. I think it was recovered in there by Regal, number 40, uh, 74. Josh Marshall, number 71, shaking up on the play. And uh, I think he just might have a Charlie horse, although Doc uh, Bauer is out there checking him out now, so I'm not really sure. Coach Miskinis out there, he, of course, is concerned about his ball player. And uh, we're hoping that he's going to be okay. On the play, the Trojans, let's see, gained... Uh, I'm not sure where they have the marker. The guy with the marker has laid it down over here. So I think uh, on the fumble, there was probably a yard or so, huh? And uh, so we'll be right back here in just a moment after they attend to uh, young Mr. Marshall out here. Well, once again, the ball players are signaling the crowd to get into it here, and the crowd is responding to them. But gosh, it would be nice if the crowd would do that without encouragement from the ball players. But uh, we'll see. They're certainly going to get more and more enthusiastic about this ball team as the season goes on because they have been playing some super football. Up the middle with it goes Stinscom drives it to the 30-yard line. Stinscom, the ball carrier. Nice run that time by that Jason Stinscom. He's picking 30. up about uh, five on the play. Right to the 30. It'll be third down and up four. Third down four. Picked up near, nearly five on the play. Ball is laying right squarely on the 30. <clears throat> 10 minutes remaining in the ball game right now. And the clock is moving down. So we're inside of 10 minutes left. Trojans with that uh, seven point lead. Here is Shadle. Shadle fires over the middle and there is a flag I think on the play. Shadle goes down to the 10, but there is a flag Shadle thrown in here and probably this one's going to come back to the for a hold. Line. We'll we find out. <clears throat> holding the call the against UDA. So somebody is accused of holding that time and nullifies a fine run by that Nathan Shadle. He had taken it to the 10, but this one's coming back. The ball back to the 39 yard line now, make it a third down and about 13 or so. So, uh, need a big pass play. Here comes uh, Buffington, fired over the middle. It is incomplete. Oh, just off the Buffington fingertips of Kyle Bingaman. Oh, that was one of those that uh, he was in good coverage out there by Daly. But Kyle feels as though he probably should have had this one. I think it hit Kyle on the hand. And uh, Kyle wishes he would have caught that. So do I. But <laughs> anyway, bring up a fourth down now. And uh, they're going to let Nick Huffman kick this one away. I think. Yep. And he gets a good kick off there. Nice high spiraling kick. Oh, he touched it, I think. Yeah, right there. Oh, he's going to be mauled under at the two. 
Good coverage and a fine kick. What a great kick by Nick Huffman. Holy smokes. You can't ask a kicker to do any more than that. Field it out there at the two. It'll be first and 10 as Campbell and Regal coming in there to make the stop, they say. But there was a whole crowd of Trojans around that one. But boy, what a beautiful job that was by Nick Huffman. And it'll be first and 10 now for Millersburg at their own two yard line. Excellent, excellent kick. It's the kind of stuff these kids are playing now, and I hate to repeat it, but you know, it's the kind of thing that was just happening to us in the first couple of ball games in last season so many times, but tonight and the last couple of ball games, things have certainly turned around. Here's the quarterback, Daly, sneaking it up the middle in good yardage out to the 10 yard line. Daly should have been line. stopped, I guess, but they and had they opened up a nice hole for him that time. Daly picking up eight on the play. Makes it a second and two from the 10. Nice run that time by that quarterback to get him a little more breathing room back there. And uh, <clears throat> UD needs to see if we can't get uh, a good defensive play this time now and hold these guys back here and get that ball back. Daly will hand this one off. Up the middle with it goes this 35 or 6. He has a first down. Dragging it to the 20-yard line before uh, Hoover comes in to make the stop for UDA. But a nice drive Etzweiler there by those uh, Millersburg. Etzweiler picking up about uh, six or so on the play. First and 10, Millersburg. Eight minutes, 25 seconds remaining in the ball game. <clears throat> Trojan lead just that scant seven points. Oh, let's go. Stop these guys right now. Quarterback over the middle, pass complete. Number 20, he's got it. He is the one that scored the touchdown yeah, earlier on to give the, the Millersburg the lead at that time, 21-20. George Hunter and Kyle Bayman. But uh, another, Millersburg another first big down. first down out to the 39-yard line. So Millersburg starting the drive on the two-yard line. Now has it out to their own 39-yard line. So they're doing very well here so far on this series. First and 10. From the Millersburg 39. Can we pick one of these off? No, nope, not that one. They'll pitch it back here and let's see. They're going to have him stacked up. Coming in to make the play is that Matt Bauer making, a, or I beg your pardon, uh, Hunter that time, George Hunter, I think it was, no on the making play. a good Second stop down, that time from Indian. his uh, linebacker position. Way to go, 16. No gain on that play. Second and 10. They'll flank uh, 32 out on the near side of the field for Millersburg. Quarterback wants to dump it over the middle. It is incomplete. Intended for Snyder. I think it's uh, 20 Snyder. Yeah, Dave Snyder. Goes an incompletion. Covering out there for UD was Lichen's own David P. Shell. There's number 10. Shell on the coverage that time. Third and 10. Boy, here's where UD has to hold them right here now. A third and 10. Got seven minutes remaining and three, seven minutes, three seconds. And timeout's going to be called by Millersburg. Very important third down play coming up here for the uh, Millersburg Indians. And we have time called. 7.03 remaining here in the ball game. UD by seven. All right, here we go on a big third down and 10. Backs are split in the backfield for Millersburg. Quarterback wants to throw, screens it over to far side, incomplete. Intended for Gordon, but uh, way overthrown. Gordon thinks he was held up here. He's pleading his case with the official, but there are no flags on the field. I think Gordon feels he was held. <laughs> He's discussing it over there, but to no avail. So it will be fourth down, <clears throat> excuse me, fourth down and 10. <laughs> An obvious punting situation for Millersburg and uh, they're going to do the, just that. They send back 43 to punt. 
Miller, or UD will drop back Shell and Bauer. Low snap, but the kick comes over there towards Matt Bauer. Matthews got it, and he'll take it at the 25. He's at the 30. Matt, got to reverse the field. Cuts it upfield. Look out. Matt's got, got a couple. He needs a block. He needs one block. Good block. And that's, oh, oh. All the way down in a flag thrown late. We've got some flags thrown here. And we could have a piling on. Way to go, Matt Bauer. Matt almost broke that one. Oh, baby. Nobody was more excited than this guy right here. <laughs> oh, there's flags on the field. And they're going to bring this one back. We've got a flag down here. We had a flag thrown on the tackle. So let's see how they uh, sort this one out. Oh, yeah, yeah. What a nice run back. Matt almost did it. Almost. It was close. We're going to have to see what the flags are, though, because we have a flag downfield where around the line of scrimmage area, or not, not the line of scrimmage, but around where the blocking was heaviest downfield here for Matt. And then we have uh, a penalty at the end of the play. So let's see. It's going to be an illegal block, a chop block or whatever they call it, against UD on the run back. Personal foul against Millersburg. So uh, what does that mean? I'm not sure how they're going to, what this will be. Illegal block. And Coach Ayers would like a little explanation of this. Let's see how they march this off. This could be interesting. They'll march it back 15 and march it forward 15 and nullify Matt Bauer's super, super run here. Oh, man. Somebody would have to pick up the block because I, I hope it's on tape. I have no clue as I was watching that Matt the Scat Bauer there <laughs> going like crazy. So here we go. Here's the 15-yard penalty against Millersburg, which would take the ball to the 40-yard line. And uh, I guess that's it. First and 10 from the 40. I don't know what happened to the... UD illegal block thing. Um, how they did that, I'm not sure. <clears throat> but at any rate, UD has it. Handoff over here and up the middle with it goes. Shadle, look out. Shadle breaks into the clear. Shadle at the 30, the 20, the 15, the 10. Touchdown. Nathan Shadle for a touchdown. A 60 yard touchdown run. So Nathan Shadle breaks the game open a little bit for UD. Certainly some more breathing room. What a beautiful play. And that doesn't take much to get the crowd on their feet over here now. Well, I'll tell you, it's not hard now getting them up. And the Trojans now have a 13. And there's a flag for the jubilation. They're going to call Trojans for unsportsmanlike conduct. Yeah, for jubilation, for jumping around and applauding. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, from the motion picture, who really cares? Um, they're going to march this one back 15. No. This will be just illegal. Or, uh, no. It's, uh, penalty flag is against the Penalty Trojans. flag against the Trojans. Brings the extra point try back to the 18-yard oh, line. To the 17-yard line. Yeah, for this extra so it'll point be an extra event. point try from there. Oh, boy, I'll tell you, huh? Nathan Shadle electrified the crowd on that one, to say the least. So we're going to see now if uh, Sulio would be able to kick a 35-yard timeout called. Timeout by Millersburg. Millersburg will call time. That's what they say. Millersburg wants time. Coach Miskinis will come on the field and find out what's going on here now. I'm not sure who he's hollering at his ball club, I think. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, Millersburg has time. UD will attempt a 35-yard uh, or so. Something like, well, let's see. We'll see when we come back. 34-21, 6-26 remaining here in the ball game. Wow. Ball will be spotted at the 25-yard line. Be about a 35-yard attempt. Here's the kick. It's going to be good. Okay. All right. So Hervick with a 35-yard extra point. All right, 35-21, way to go, Sulio. All right, way to go, my goodness. I'm telling you, when a team goes bad, they go bad. When they go good, man, they go good, and we're going great. 35-21, 6-26 left. Sulio's kicked that time, made it over the goal by maybe three or four feet, but that was all, but that's all it needs. 
Here it comes. The kick. Nice kick. Going to be taken down here at the seven yard line. To the 10 and the 15. And now up to the 20 goes to the 25. And ahead to the 27, where he's going to be swarmed under by several Trojans Gordon out here. The the that was Gordon bringing it back. Stopped in there Stopped by, in by uh, 46, Nick Huffman. Nick Huffman getting off the pile last the out there. Good job, Nicker. 27-yard line is where they'll put it. Now the clock is very important. Six minutes, 16 seconds remaining in this ball game. <clears throat> Millersburg will use the shotgun formation, so we'll have to stay back a little bit in obvious passing situation as the Indians try to get back into it. Here's a good rush, but let's see. Well, he's going to tuck it away now. This is Daly, and he is cut down down here after a gain of about seven yards. So Daly kept it and uh, brought it over here before Byron Hoover could knock him off his feet. Nice gain of actually eight on the play. It'll be second down and two. Second down two. So a nice run that time by Daly. That's twice that young quarterback has done that when he found himself in trouble back there. He can really run. He's a good athlete. And uh, broke it out there for eight yards and what could have been a big loss because there were some Trojans in pretty hot pursuit back there. But Daly brought it out for eight, second and two. Second man through, ooh, stopped on a hard tackle. Now whether they, uh, let's see, kind of progress will they give him. It's going to be very close to a first down. Bauer in there along with uh, Hoover. Hoover again. And uh, Graf in on the stop. It's going to be so close, they're going to have to measure this one once again. Here. So timeout called. The measurement proved that Millersburg was about uh, two feet short of the first down, down so it'll be third down and less than a yard. yard line. Third down and less than a yard for the Millersburg Indians. Will Daly just try to sneak it over there? He might. It's third and very short. Yep, he'll sneak it and boy, he made it but not by much, I'll tell you that. Sulio says no he didn't make it but I think he did. He's driven back in there nicely by Hunter, number 16, and a 77 uh, Dundee wrestler. Daily on the keeper for But uh, I believe they're going to have to measure this Another one. Another official timeout. Another measurement. This will be close, but I think they may have made it. We'll see. Here's that measurement. It's the first down this time by the length of the football. That will be a Millersburg so Millersburg down. picks up an important first down for the, the Indians. Line. It'll be spotted at the 38. First and 10, Millersburg. Four minutes, 51 seconds left here in the ball game. The officials set the clock in motion now, so 4.43 and 42 and so forth. UD needs to pick one of these off. Oh, not that time. Nope, no passing that time. Smothered under into the, under there as Byron Hoover, along with Grave. Uh, yeah, Hunter 16 and Sulio all in there on that stop. Smothered him in there. Never left him get the pass off. He couldn't even look up before they had smothered him. Second and 15 now. Ball back at the 33-yard line. Excellent defense played by these guys. A couple lapses that led uh, to the 21 points for Millersburg. Uh, but uh, otherwise, played a darn good ball game. Another pass. Boy, he got caught that time. And again, he's wrapped up in here as uh, Dundee wrestler, Daily along with Graf, come in to make the stop. Way to go, DJ. All right. Boys are getting ferocious now. Well, down to the 29-yard line goes the ball. Third down and about 19. Okay, Trojans really playing nice football. Get those Lion Mountain Eagles here next uh, week, next ball game. Lion Mountain, that won't be easy at all. But uh, we'll, we're ready. From the shotgun, Daly again. Looking, firing one down the field over here. It is incomplete. Tended out there for Gordon. Caleb could not get quite close that one. Hunter and Wagner guarding back there for UD. 
Fourth down coming up. Fourth, fourth down. and 18, or 19, something like that. 58 seconds remaining here in the ball game. So the Trojans getting ever so closer to winning their third in a row. Punting situation. The punt comes down this way. It's going to be taken over there by that Tony the Tiger Motter. Tony trying the right side. Tony's got some running room. He's got speed also. Breaks it all the way down inside the 20 or the 30 yard line. Check it. Tony Motter with a fine run back that way to go. Tony the Tiger picking him up out there. Giving the Trojans an excellent field position for this one now. Down at the 25 yard line. First and 10, UDA. Boy, these guys have really played good football tonight. Never, never, no, lax, no lapses in the ball game tonight. Here's a handoff for Shadle. Shadle trying to spin around the left side, dives down to the 20 yard line. Picking up nearly five on the play. It'll be second down and a long five. Four. Second down, six. Trojans would like to put a couple more on here if we could before this game expires. Time expires. 2-12 left in the ball game. Whoops, wait a minute. That time David P kind of jumped. <laughs> All right, that'll cost them five and make it a second down and ten. Procedure against the Trojans. Second and ten. Take the ball back to the 25 yard line. Second down, 10. All right, let's see what we can do with this one now. On a second and 10 from the I backfield, Stinscombe and Shadel are the running backs. Motion goes uh, Bingaman. Pitches over here for Shadel. Shadel trying to turn aside, gets a good block, but only gets a couple of yards, baby. Uh, about two on that one. That Shadle time the they... Carrier. Corralled Nathan pretty quickly that time. Give him about two. It'll be third down and eight. <clears throat> All right. The fat lady may not have sung yet, but she's warming up. <laughs> Oops, Tom, what are you doing? Here's a pass. They're looping one out here. Now it's uh, thrown out of bounds. Intended for the cameraman over here, but he couldn't handle it. <laughs> anyway. Sails out of bounds, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Fourth down and eight. Now looking at UD. From the 20. Okay, we're looking at fourth and eight now. A minute and five seconds remaining here, so I believe it's safe to say that the Trojans have now their greatest winning streak of the last two seasons. Looks like it's a three-gamer. Game number three in the bag here against uh, Millersburg tonight on a really super fine effort. I congratulate uh, Coach Ayers and all the coaching staff and every one of these guys out here who have played a wonderful football game. Here's Shadle. Shadle breaking down inside the 15 to the 13 yard line. It'll be awfully Nathan close Shadle to the, the first carrier. down, believe it or not. He's inside the 15 That's gonna be very close and a referee close. says it is a first down. A Trojan, first, Trojan first, down. first down. So that'll seal the fate of the Indians for certain because we've only got 48 seconds left and the crowd is uh, cheering these boys over here. The Trojans will have time for about another play or two and that ought to do it. What a fine effort tonight by all of these guys. Again, Nathan, Nathan Shadel having a big, a big night for UD. Here's Shadel with it. Shadel cuts it up field and he's gonna be held up and thrown back after a gain of maybe a yard or two in a play. That may have been the last play of the ball game. I think it was. So again, as I say, congratulations. The Trojans go to three and two. They get over 500 for the first time in the last couple of seasons. And boy, what a great, great football game this has been. The Trojan fans are giving them a fine cheer over here, a fine hand as they have picked up their third in a row. And uh, UD comes up with a big victory tonight over these Millersburg Indians. A final score, 35-21 UDA by 14 over Millersburg. And we'll bring on those Lion Mountain Eagles next week. So uh, right here at home, it is homecoming next uh, Friday night. So that should uh, inspire the boys even more. Way to go, fellas. Great football game. Well played at times. I had a few of those penalties that I think we need to work on. But other than that, not a bad ball game at all. Nice plays all the way around. Oh, we will see you later next week. Keep it up, fellas. Keep up the good work. Good night.